Hey guys, I'm Greg. This is Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Tusker. This is uh, actually the very first beer that I've had from Africa. This is brewed in Nairobi, Kenya. So, uh, it says right here, brewed and bottled by East African Breweries Limited, Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, winner of Gold Medal Award in the International Mon Selection. Uh, Kenya's heritage since 1922. I'm going to read what it says here on the back. Tusker Lava has been brewed in East Africa since 1922. Named after an elephant that killed George Hurst, one of the brewery's founders, Tusker claims that special heritage of being one of the first beers in East Africa. Over the years, this unique lager has become a part of East Africa's rich tradition. Tusker is brewed with high-quality malt made from equatorial barley grown at the base of Mount Kenya, choice hops and water that springs from the renowned Aberdeer mountain range. Tusker's famous risk, crisp, refreshing taste and finest quality has continuously earned gold medals in the prestigious International Monday Selection Award. So, uh, there you have it. We're tapping it pretty good here, guys. So, uh, uh, it is a 4.2% ABV beer, pretty lightweight, uh, just a little stronger than iced tea. <laughs> a year-round serving from these guys, and the cuisine for this is barbecue, Indian, Latin American, Thai, Pan-Asian, and the cheeses of peppery Monterey and pepper jack and meat is shellfish, it says here. Uh, glassware is a pint, Becker, the Stein, mug, about anything you want to pour it in. Basically, from what I've read, uh, this is uh, their version of the macro lager. So, uh, <laughs> that's about what we're expecting from this guy. So, they've been doing it a long time, though. Let's get it open and see what we got. Let's go down the center here and see if we can get a little bit of a head. There it is in the glass. My first African beer, guys. Looks very much like a micro lager. It's very pale, uh, very pale colored, uh, very uh, yellowish, light yellow color. Didn't pour a monster head and uh, looks very soapy, like soap bubbles up on top, guys. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom there. Not overly carbonated. Let's get a nose on it and see what we got. Not a strong taste, a little grass, a little grain. Maybe just a little lemony there. Smells like a typical Pilsner type lager. A lot more beers when I call these things, guys. Cheers. Taste some corn. It's a little grassy <laughs> and citrusy. You get a little lemon or, or something there. Pretty watery, pretty, pretty bland. Not a lot of taste there. Very easy drinking. Came out to check the alcohol whatsoever. You could probably drink this like iced tea and uh, I don't know, you probably have to drink about 30 of them to catch a buzz, so I mean, you could probably drink this all day long. Very easy, sessionable beer, or I imagine that's how they drink it over there. Uh, they probably drink it uh, very sessionally, you know, one after the other here, just like we do the macro lagers, the Buzz Millers and the Coors. You got to drink 20 of them to catch a buzz. Uh, so, uh, not got a bad taste to it, you know, it's, it is what it is. Uh, I'm not disappointed, but it is exactly what I expected it to be, guys. So, I'm not going to sip on it very long, but I'm, I am going to let the other half taste this and uh, be right back. We'll do the final chug on this one. Hi guys, I think we're sticking around. I got just a little left. 
typical lawnmower beer. First one from Africa, and I have to say it's uh, it's just like a uh, a Bud Miller or Coors would be over here. I think it's a mass-produced beer for for the macro lager crowd in in Kenya. So, bye, chug guys. I didn't know about earlier, it would taste just like one of the macros that they make over here. So, guys, as far as I'm concerned, it's a four. It's a seed beer. It's an average beer. Uh, if you live in Kenya and you get this cheap, I'd say that's probably a good reason to drink it. Only 4.2%. Just a little bit stronger than a nice tea on this one, guys. So you could drink a bunch of these without getting too paced. Uh, that's what I'm going to give it. Rate Beer has it at 7. That's 77 overall. And 49 in the style. Beer Ad comes up with a 70 in the style there. So not very high marks. It's... Uh, it's probably with one of their mass-produced macro lagers from over there. Uh, guys, if you see it, pick it up if you want to give it a shot. Nothing special, nothing right home about typical lawnmower beer, even though it did come from Africa, guys. If you've had it, give me some comments back on this one. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Hit the like button if you like it. See y'all tomorrow.